We stopped by the side of the road to get some traditional food here because we were quite hungry after our how long after was the hike? Journey. Uh, oof, like maybe two hours way in the end. One way in the yeah. other. We're now trying some of the food. They have some adobo, some sausages, some vegetables, some eggs, some pancit bihon, and uh, yeah, should be pretty nice to eat here. Is it spicy? Yes. Oh no, no chili, no chili. I thought you were Spanish. <laughs> we don't eat spicy. Why am I doing this like an Italian? But we don't eat spicy in Spain. It's not that. It's a myth. <laughs> so I got three eggs, some vegetables. And then some of these vegetables as well. And some rice, of course, which here in the Philippines is known as Filipino power. Mr. Famous Influencer. I think he's cooler than us. What do you yeah. think? One day, one day we will get recognized too. We have now made it to the next destination, which is Port Barton, and we are staying at this backpacker camping military type of camp, which looks pretty cool and uh, should be a definite adventure. They have this upstairs area viewpoint, and the landscape from here is unbelievable. So I will climb up, show you guys the view. This place is pretty interesting. There's a lot of bird poop on the floor, but other than that, it's like really cool. You have a 360 view of the whole place, the camp, then you have these unbelievably cool trees and vegetation. And then on the other side, you have the sun, which is kind of getting close to sunset, not quite sunset yet, but it's creating this really cool sun rays on this green landscape, which is beautiful. And then below you see Pandu and Alfonso. This is where we're staying for the night and getting all cuddly and cute because we only have two beds. Never mind. I guess we're not getting all cute and cuddly <laughs> on the floor. Pretty nice. I kind of like the vibe, the military feeling of it. She said she would maybe wake us up in the middle of the night and make us do push-ups. With the whistle? To determine who gets which bed, we're doing an online randomizer. We bet on a number. The first number uh, gets the big one. Okay. The second number gets the second one, and then the other one. Okay. Gets the... Okay, okay. But this so, doesn't count. Doesn't yeah, it doesn't count. count. I say six. And you? Uh, just number. Okay. Uh, three. Uh, I'm gonna choose two. Uh. One. One. No one had one, right? Okay. So... Again. <laughs> Okay. Oh, two. two oh let's go. my God. <laughs> so so nice. Can, yeah, I get this one. one. Oh, you can get the big one. Sick. Okay, okay. okay. Hey, let's okay. go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so which one would you like? Uh, I would like that one. What about you? Of course, if I have a choice, this okay. one. I said six. And you said? I said three. Don't okay. worry, guys. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Three. <laughs> okay, so I get that one? Yeah, yeah. I get that one. But yeah. You try. If you don't think you can sleep there, we'll swap. Because I, I really don't mind. I'm kind of happy about winning that one because <laughs> the other two beds look pretty crap. For me, that is one of the worst things to see next to your hotel in the provinces because that means tomorrow morning we will wake up, not on our own time, but whenever the roosters decide. But it's only fitting for a military camp, so I guess it kind of adds to the experience. So far I'm really enjoying the laid-back nature of this place. It's kind of a mix between Chargao and El Nido for me. I mean El Nido obviously because it's still the same island, but yeah, it's a pretty good combo.
<laughs> Super messy. We always have to wait for him to pack his bag. I always so. find something that he left. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I yeah. saved your life a lot of times. I don't times. know how I don't lose more things. Like, I think I built a mechanism to actually remember like five minutes later and go back for it. Like, <laughs> yeah. your brain's like five minutes delayed. Yeah, yeah. We had a beautiful sunset here and we will now go get something to drink. We're thinking some buko or a mango shake. Probably mango something shake. like that. Yeah, sounds pretty good. What an amazing first full day of traveling that was. Now we are home back to the hostel and we have done big steps towards making up for not making it to Balabak. I can't imagine a better way to have dealt with this situation. Now we're gonna go to sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow. Morning. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, uh, Alfonso turned on the light and I was like, can you please turn off the light? And he was like with his sleeping mask and the earplugs in, he was like, it's the sun, dude. It's the sun. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. And I was like, well, no, it's not. It's the light. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it is now the second day here and we're doing an island hopping tour, a private one so that we can be annoying vloggers. We are not really sure what tour we're doing or what islands we're seeing, but we're excited. Yes. First stop of the trip, Turtle Sanctuary. Yes. We're not really ready to swim, but for turtles, it's gotta be worth it, right? Let's get going. Time to switch to my other camera. Island number one and flew our drones a bit, which are the shots that you're seeing now. now on the island where we will be eating our food and they have already cooked for us and the food looks amazing the weather on this island has been on and off raining but we still made the most of it and while it was sunny we got some insane drone shots and as you can see those are amazing and then we also got some shots together in the jungle which was nice We have now made it to the second to last island and we are actually here in this beautiful, beautiful beach, which I think is probably the best beach we've seen all day. And especially with the sun coming out finally, we are going to take some super cool photos. And Pandu actually gave both Fonsi and I a t-shirt from his Semesta brand, which is a clothing line. And it's the one that I'm wearing currently. Fonsi has the exact same one. So now we're matching. Yay! <laughs> but it's super, super nice. The fabric is super nice. Everything about it is great. So I would highly recommend recommend you check them out in the description down below. back on the boat Yay. onto the final island which is a very cool sandbar where apparently you can see a lot of starfish in the water yeah. so that is another exciting island it's but gonna be crazy we all really enjoyed this one though that one this one was the best <laughs> Fonsi yes. spent about an hour flying his drone <laughs> i got sunburned <laughs> ah. <laughs> but it was worth it because he got some of the best drone shots he's ever gotten yes absolutely <laughs> <laughs> anyways on to the next night Have made it 
to the final stop of the island hopping, which is this sandbar where we apparently have some starfish, but I don't see any. We're happy that the day turned out to be super cool because in the morning it didn't really look like the weather would be cooperating, but now Ponzi is sunburned. I'm, as you can see, starting to be sunburned. Pandu is still fine. <laughs> Multiverse of vlogging right here. Oh, Crazy. Like, wow. What? <laughs> <Spider -Man. laughs> Now at the place where you can see the starfish in their natural habitat which is the ocean there are so many starfish that you can see through this super clear water which is just amazing and we're really enjoying our time here which just goes to show that if you have the right people and you're surrounded by positive energy even if things don't go to plan you can still make the best out of it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this not balabak adventure anything to say guys Oh, there was also starfish. <laughs> <laughs> We're all pretty tired. Time to get back. I will see you guys in the next video.